Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. Um, it is morning, so I'm going to make a breakfast dish. Um, one of my friends brought some egg bites to April's house for the kids to warm up for breakfast in the mornings, and they were wonderful, and I'd forgotten all about this method. So I'm going to make y'all some today, and uh, maybe something that you'll decide would be good for your family, for your house, for a quick breakfast on the way to work or on the way to school or whatever you choose to use it for. So I'm going to bring y'all over here to the booze block and I'm going to show you exactly what I do and there's no exact recipe to it. You add what you know what you like. Uh, if it were for sure that I was going to be the only one eating them I'd put a lot more stuff in it like a little bit of chili peppers and uh, some bell peppers, but I have a feeling that I'll have somebody else helping me eat it So I'm going to fix it more Generic that maybe everybody will want some so y'all just scramble on over here to the booze block And we'll make us some egg bites that are delicious and easy and I think you'll enjoy the recipe Okay, I've taken 12 eggs and I've got them in the bowl here and I'm going to whip them I'm going to add a little splash of whipping cream to it and I'm going to add some cottage cheese but I'm because it gives them a great texture. But I'm going to whiz that up with my uh, hand mixer and that will make it a lot easier when I start assembling everything. But another thing that I like to do, I like to take my slice of bread and I cut the edges off of it. And then with the rolling pin I'm just going to flatten it out. And then you just press it into your muffin pan just like that. So I'm going to flatten all of them out. Makes a good bottom to your egg uh, meal. Uh, some of them I've already done and some of them I haven't and I'm not sure which so I'll just make sure. Because I forgot that I needed to show y'all that. You can do a lot with bread when you flatten it like that because it makes it, you can shape it better. It's not so thick and, okay, I've already done that one. Okay, I've got them all done. And that's just a little bottom in there. So I'm going to grab my uh, mixer and whip up the eggs and add a little onion and garlic powder to them and some cottage cheese and milk and then we'll assemble it. I'll be right back. Now y'all can see. I'm going to add just a splash of whipping cream, probably eighth of a cup maybe. And I'm going to add about three-fourths of a cup of uh, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is absolutely full of protein. And a lot of people say, yuck, I don't like cottage cheese. Well, you can't taste it in here. It just helps with the texture of the eggs. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. I'm going to say a half a teaspoon. That's 12 eggs, so that shouldn't be too much salt. And some black pepper with my little ratchet pepper grinder that I love from Sir La Table. Okay, I'm going to add just one minute, let me get the camera changed. I'm going to add uh, ham and mushrooms, cheddar cheese, and some green onion blades to these. And like I said, you can put whatever you want to in there. Let me see. So I am going to put, let me put a little ham in the bottom of each one. I like bacon too, but I didn't take time to brown bacon off this morning, but y'all know that's a breakfast option forever. Go ahead and divide it out and use all of this ham. 
and any egg that you have left over just make you a plate of scrambled eggs now these are mushrooms from Thrive they're freeze dried but the liquid in the eggs and all is going to rehydrate them and so they're going to uh, we'll have mushrooms in them a little bit of green onions isn't it strange that my grandkids won't eat onion but they'll eat green onion blades kind of kind of different and then I'm going to put a little bit of cheese and I've got the June oven heating if you don't have a June oven do it in your regular oven at 350 until they're set the way you want them the June is my option because it uh, doesn't heat my, it doesn't take as much electricity it's smaller and I sprayed my pans with kitchen spray to try to make the toast on the bottom brown a little bit better but also they'll pop out easier see that bread soaking up some of that and I need plenty of liquid because of the uh, freeze dried mushrooms that's in there I want them to have enough liquid to rehydrate and this is the deeper muffin tin that I ordered off Amazon and uh, I have no affiliation at this point with Amazon but it's easy to get just about anything you want I'm going to see if I can just get the rest of this because there's not really enough to scramble see if they'll now they're going to puff up a little bit when you cook them but then they puff right back down when they cool off I'm going to clean it up a little bit now you can make these you know as rich or whatever as you want I do want a little cheese on the top of each one And I guess I'll go ahead and put a little piece of onion on them. Why not? Okay, I'm going to get these over there in the June oven and let them cook. And I will be back in just a jiffy or two and show y'all how they pop out of here and how pretty they are. Okay, my oven has reached its temperature, and I'm going to get my egg bites or egg muffins or whatever you want to call them in the oven. And I'm putting them on the bottom shelf, and I'm just going to bake them until they're done at 350. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to set a timer. It is the coolest oven in the whole world. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes and I'll come back and check them, but it'll notify me in 10 minutes just in case I forget that I'm cooking something. I'll be right back and show y'all in just a little bit. Okay, it's telling me that it's finished, but when I look in, they're not quite as ready as I want them to be, so I'm going to add, I'm going to tell it to keep baking. And then I'll just watch it until I think it gets to where I want it to be. And this is giving me a, it's counting up, you know, the seconds to let me know how long that I've had it in here. Now I can go here and set a timer. Uh-oh, I cancel the cooking just a minute. And I'm going to set a timer. And I'll go ahead and do 10 more minutes, but I'll watch it. Timer has gone off again, so let's check and see if they're uh, done now. So this, was tw this would make 20 minutes. I think I'm going to cook them. Let's keep baking. And I'm just going to set it for 5 more minutes.
and we'll go from there. Okay, my timer has gone off again, so 30 minutes is what I've cooked these. Probably has taken a little bit. Let me keep this on because I'm going to cook something else here in a minute and I want to make sure it stays on. Um, took a little bit longer because it's the deeper muffin tins than the regular 12 ones. But I'm going to put it over here on the rack to cool and I'll pop them out and show y'all in just a minute. Okay, here they are on the cooling rack. And uh, I'm just going to let them cool until I can pop them out. And I will plate it and give y'all a, a look at it. Got my platter ready to put them on and I have them cooling on my rack. Because I don't want the bottom to sweat. They look browned on the bottom but they're still pretty warm, so I'll show y'all in a minute what they look like on the platter. Okay, here's our breakfast bites or breakfast meal or brunch. I'll plate it up. I'm so glad y'all came in the kitchen today to watch me cook something else. I appreciate every one of you watching, and I hope that you'll share my channel with your friends and other people that you run across and I encourage them to subscribe. Hit that button and subscribe and to watch the videos. It helps me pay for the stuff that I'm cooking to show y'all how to do it. And I appreciate it. I'm starting to earn a little bit and that means a whole lot. I hope y'all have enjoyed the recipe about the... And see, you don't need a muffin paper on it because the bread takes the place of that. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Uh, breakfast or brunch or you know sometimes we have breakfast for supper so whenever you'd want to pull it out and use it well that's your option hope y'all have a good day you know the the weekend's going to be coming up and Sunday's a good day to plan a good meal for your family and gather them all around the table and see if they'll share some secrets with you on an accident that they might not would have talked about if they just wasn't so happy having good food Turn those devices off and spend some time with your family and come right back here to learn another recipe to share with them in a day or two. The good Lord bless y'all.